Okay, so continuing with this concept, we have the cube, and uh, underneath the cube we have the cube mesh, right? And those can be the same between objects. For example, if I shift D to duplicate this guy, and then you can see it made a new name for both the mesh and the cube, I can go to the second cube and I can select the original mesh and therefore I can edit them at the same time. And that's something that you may want to do when you're modeling to make instances or duplicates of something and edit them all at the same time and see all that feedback at the same time in your, uh, in your viewport as you're modeling. Similar to how you might want to mirror and see it at the same time, right? So that's one use for modeling there. All right, and so there's another direct way to get there and let's do a new scene here. So now I have the cube, right? And let's just get there but yet a different way. So notice these both have the same name, cube and cube, right? And then this time instead of uh, Shift D, I'm going to Alt D, and then just slide the key over there like that. And then now we have a new name for the mesh container, and then the same name for the cube because they are the same mesh. Excuse me, let's uh, deselect those. Okay, so now we can grab these like that, and they're the same. So again for the same kind of usage and you can go on and on forever you can be uh, all duplicate you know four of them and so on like that and you can uh, have arrays and, and and so on and maybe circular arrays of things that you want um, to edit that way alright so now let's go new scene so now this kind of segues to the next subject I want to get into which is object centers okay and so if we select the, the cube we go over here to object transform and this is where you're going to find how to adjust just the center of the object okay so you got uh, geometry to origin that's kind of the backwards way you've got origin to geometry and then you've got origin to 3d cursor and then these other center of mass and volume which are basically slightly different versions of uh, origin to geometry okay so let's let's talk about uh, uh, this one this is the first one I want to talk about so remember the snapping menu if I want to grab a point and then I go shift S and I say cursor to selected now the cursor is up there at the corner if I go up to object mode I can go down here object transform origin to 3D cursor and then now it will move the center of the object there and you'll feel notice the location moved to 111 right so right remember we're, we're in uh, units here so that's has moved it all the way over to here. So now let's Alt G and then move the object to the center. Okay, so there we are. So that's how in Blender you can uh, add a new pivot center for the object. Uh, that's one way. And the other way would be to, if if the if it's offset like this, you could say Object Transform and go origin to geometry and it would plop it back in the center of the geometry like it did before and then Alt G now we're back at the center okay so that's the basics of, uh, of object centers and um, there are obviously uh, a couple of more uh, options right here right uh, but for the most part the one I just showed you is the one you'll use mostly okay so there's one last little thing um, and that is on the same menu you'll see apply right and clear I've been using like alt G alt R alt S and so on okay so the apply menu is, is pretty important because uh, a lot of times you don't want for example if I have scaled something in the uh, especially if I've scaled it in an uneven manner like if I've scaled it in object mode and uh, I want to edit it in the edit mode some of the operations that you do in edit mode will be affected by that scaling and you don't want that. Uh, I'll show you one example real quick here. Let's go to face mode and I for the inset. So you notice how the inset uh, is slightly skewed when I use it uh, with the uh, uh, scaled object. So let's undo that. If I go to the uh, object and I say apply scale, now the object is the size that it should be and then this is not skewed the way it was before. It made a nice even inset. Okay, so that's the other menu you want to be aware of is apply, and there's lots of options there scale, rotation, location, and so on. Okay, so that'll be enough for these uh, introductions to uh, modeling.